I just felt like this story needs to be put out there and needed to be put out there, guys. What we did before YouTube, okay? She worked at the hospital, I worked at the casino. Before royalty would meet up with CJ So Cool and the pair would grow their family empire to over 7 million YouTube subscribers. Oh my gosh, she's it. I don't know where my shades are right now, but I totally need them. I totally need them. Oh to get your reaction. my god! Oh gosh, yeah. This is the house in the back. CJ. Royalty, everything you see is ours. Before royalty, 24 Kara would clock in over 1.8 million followers on Instagram and would team up with her man on tracks like movie clips. Before royalty would be the mother to Leonidas, Carnation, Jalea, and stepmother to Kamari, and the couple would move into their dream house at So Cool World. <laughs> yes. Yes. My office. Y'all know here at Before They Are Famous that we're big fans of CJ So Cool. I might just be the oldest member of the wolf pack in the cool kits. Now we've made a lot of videos on the king of the club, CJ So Cool, but we've yet to shed any light on his queen royalty. I mean, what good's a king without his queen? Now the couple, they both came into YouTube with very little. Now in this video, I found old clips where they're budgeting just enough to save for a vlog camera and a computer. Now before all that, royalty, she had it rough. She was in an abusive relationship and she was raising three kids and her man, who was a child, all on his own. I struggled. Now she worked her way up from KFC to BAG. That's right, getting the bag. But I'll go into more detail on all this a little later in this video. What's going on guys? It's your boy Michael McCredden documenting the life and career of royalty prior to fame. Here for you of course on Before They Are Famous. Now did you guys watch our updated The Rich Life video on CJ So Cool? That video, it's doing pretty good. And I was reading all of your comments and you guys demanded that I make this video on royalty. So shout out to Knee Gaming, YT, Ibriana Martinez, Koa Koa, Chasey Gaming, YT, and Cheddar Bob. Wait, Cheddar Bob for real? Is that the guy from 8 Mile? Man, what are you talking about? Is that a good name? What's wrong with Cheddar Bob? I like MC Bob, right? Yeah. Anyway, I'm a man of my word, and you guys keep them requests coming in for who we do next. But for now, I'll see you guys after the intro. So it's been exposed that Royalty Johnson was apparently born Charlene Young, but I ain't here to be serving up any hot tea. Now she was born on February 19th, 1990, and she spent the majority of her life living in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now royalty is a self-described, extremely private person, so details on her early life, they're a little far and few between. It appears that she was raised by her single mother. And look at the beautiful royalty mama. <laughs> Let's see how old you look, but she is 50. <laughs> now if mama royalty was 50 in that video and it's from 2017, well she's 52 now. Now royalty she's 29, then her mom must have had her at uh, 23. Uh, quick maths. Two plus two is four. Now royalty she actually got way ahead of mom having her first child at the age of just 17. Julia, she was born in 2007, and as soon as royalty found out she was pregnant, well, she went and got her first job at KFC. Don't take my word for it. The day I found out that I was pregnant with Julia, I got a job at KFC. Leonidas, he was born in 2009, and Carnation, she was born in 2011. And all to the same baby daddy. A good-for-nothing bum, whose name I won't even mention in this video. Now while royalty, she took care of all the bills. I'm talking rent, diapers, dinner, everything. Well, her man, he'd ask her for money for beer and cigarettes. Yeah, what a bum. Check this out, man. I got these burgers, man. They some double cheese burgers. I just ate. Now, I don't usually like to throw shade at anyone, but there are some serious claims about domestic abuse from this man against royalty and her mom. I had to go to work with piles of makeup on my face trying to cover a black eye because I said something wrong or wore something wrong or didn't give you cigarette money or didn't give you beer money or just a petty argument. So while he sat at home with royalty, she worked in a hospital in the psych ward or in a rehabilitation center. There she was a dietary aide. She would feed the patients, giving them snacks and three meals a day and making sure they were on the mend. Now from there, she got promoted to housekeeper at the same place. So she'd clean patients' rooms and that's before she acquired a better gig as a mental health technician. There she would record the patient's behavior. Now inside there were people on drugs, some were suicidal, and the vast majority they had some kind of mental issues. Now royalty, she would take all the overtime hours she could get, 
and all the money it would go back to her kids, also her man, and even family friends of her man. Everyone was getting the money but her. Paying all the bills, it was still hard to manage to pay a car note, to pay insurance, to pay rent, to feed your kids. And I was the type of woman that I was not going to depend on welfare. I was always working hard. Even though my baby daddy was there, I still felt like I was a single mother. Like, I paid every bill. Life was all work and no play for royalty. Now it sounds like when she wanted to let loose, the only friend she had to roll with was her mom. And that brings us to her meeting CJ So Cool. Now in our Before Their Famous video on CJ, well we talked about that one fateful night when he first crossed paths with royalty. So let's take a look back. Enjoying his new life in Vegas, CJ decided to celebrate one night in the VIP section at Planet Hollywood. It was there that a woman came up to him and said, my daughter thinks you're so handsome. She said my daughter's name is royalty. And when she said that, like, oh, my heart. It dropped I'm like, oh my God, a real human being named royalty and they look like this? From there, the two exchanged numbers and started talking and texting. They made plans for dinner, but with them both not having cars, well, royalty's mother, she came along for the day. They went to my girl's house to pick me up. Yeah, your baby daddy was watching the kids while you was out on a date with me. We was both doing dirt. We was. Hashtag dirt doers. But At that dinner, they opened up to one another and fell in love. Now they go into more detail about their romance in CJ's How I Met My Girlfriend Storytime video, so be sure to check that out. Damn, that was like YouTube inception. Now more details have come out about that night since. Royalty, she was pretty straightforward with CJ, letting him know her life story. Also about her three kids and her bum ass baby daddy. And uh, well, he just couldn't believe how attractive she was, truthfully. When I saw her, I'm like, I'll do anything for you. <laughs> so I made a promise to her. I'm like, I promise you, I'm gonna take care of all of y'all. This was a long time ago and I just kept trying, I kept trying. Now the two, they had very little, if anything, at the time. Now CJ, he had nowhere to live and royalty, she wanted out of her abusive relationship. So the two, they moved in together with royalty's mom and her three kids. Now the rest of the story of how they became YouTube millionaires, well, royalty likes to thank prayer, but I think they owe some credit to CJ's kid brother, Jinx. <laughs> we back. Whoop. Oh, Snoop. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, you ain't know I'm going there. Nah. No, it was Jinx who got CJ so cool onto YouTube, and eventually royalty would join in on the fun. Now, the two, they didn't even know what YouTube was and that there was this massive subculture. Now, when Jinx, he started pulling in thousands of dollars off of his reaction videos, well, CJ was quick to start up his own channel. Now, I've been talking to Jinx in the DMs, and we're actually going to be doing an interview when I hit up Vegas near the end of this month. So, if you guys got any questions for Jinx, well, send them my way. And uh, looking back at some of CJ's oldest videos, well, royalty's there helping him show off his shoe collection. This was back in 2015, and it's the second oldest video on their channel. Yes, my girl knows every Jordan. She's a sneaker here too, I'm telling you. You don't know what we got upstairs, but you will once we buy a camera. We're not gonna use our cell phones. We're gonna actually have to buy a camera, which takes time, have to invest. Yep, she knows Jordans. Then in the beginning, royalty, she didn't really wanna be on camera, but the couple would soon go viral with the reaction video on Best of King Batch Vine compilation. Things started to snowball quickly. Soon the kids were invited in on the action. Reactions, they turned into pranks. Views, they turned into revenue. And the entire family were able to upgrade their lifestyle. What's even better was that royalty, well, she was able to quit her job and finally become a stay-at-home mom. Even CJ's own daughter, Kamari, who was back in his hometown of Gary, Indiana, well, she was eventually able to come out and join them. I love Kamari just like she's my own daughter because CJ, he does the same thing for me. He loves my kids as if they are his own, so when his daughter comes around, I treat his kids with the same respect as he gives my kids. So having Kamari around is such a blast. Kam Carnation actually has somebody that she can actually play with. Now, as you know, the family, they would eventually move from mansion to mansion, but it hasn't been all good news. Now, in early 2017, CJ So Cool and Royalty, well, they were thrilled to announce that they were expecting their own baby together. Sadly, there were complications and things, well, they're about to get real. I had to get my left tube removed where the baby was at. So there's no baby and there's no tube. I'm left with one tube now, guys. Now recently there have also been some blasts from their past who have popped their heads up on the internet. Now royalty's old baby daddy, he made a YouTube video looking for clout and CJ, he's been putting up with his own baby mama drama for quite some time. Now there are plans in place for CJ to become the legal guardian of Jalea, Leonidas and Carnation. 
No royalty, she is madly in love with her man and him with her. Now the kids are living a fairy tale, so no matter what she's been through, it really looks like she's living her best life. She deserves it. The royalty has also started up her own company known as Royalty of Queens, where she's selling her own Indian raw hair, eyelashes, and more. It's not really good for me, but I'm sure someone watching this video is gonna want it. Because royalty's just such a babe. Who doesn't want to look like her? All right, guys, we're gonna wrap up this video here. If you can hear some background noise, that's the garbage truck. They basically drive into the studio because the, these garbage men, they want to be YouTubers. They just, they, they see what I'm doing. They're like, that's the before they're famous guy. I want his job. So they're making all this ruckus while I'm filming. But that's how it is. Anyways, guys, let us know who's next in the comments down below. I'll see you in another video. Go! Oh! Also, yeah, I am going to Vegas. I'll be hanging out with Jinx. So send me any questions you want me to ask him. I think we're going to title it, Where Are They Now? I know he's with CJ, but a lot of people don't. All right, see ya.